tractors again. Huh? Got those tractors. Got those tractors again, don't ya? Hi everybody, good morning. Welcome to Cooking with Clive. It is definitely the morning, and we didn't have much for breakfast, so we got up early and made some homemade bread. So we have this nice bread here. What do you think we should turn this bread into? Turn it over there or put it on the stove? Yeah. Do you want to make some French toast? Do you like French toast? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! We love French toast here. Uh, but we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to take our homemade bread, uh, slice it up, then we're going to trim all the crust and stuff off, have nice triangles, make some French toast, sort of kick it up a notch here from a main man, Ambrose Clive. Um, and while doing that, we're not just going to take our normal sort of eggs and milk and whip them up. I want to do like a honey citrus French toast. So we're going to take a cup and a half of milk and we're going to put it in a pot and I'm going to infuse it with honey and citrus. Okay, so I'm going to take this cup and a... Ah! You're ripping our bread apart. Here, you might as well eat that now. Okay, we're going to take a cup and a half of milk. I have a quarter cup of honey I'm just going to pour right in there. Okay. Honey. Yeah, we're gonna make honey citrus French toast. And I have the rinds, like the zest, like the, uh, just the skin with some of the rind on it of some limes and some lemons and some oranges, okay? So we have all, I just sort of took the citrus and peeled off a bunch of uh, the skin with some of the rind. And I'm actually gonna use this lemon one here to scoop out the end of this honey, just to get all that honey in there, okay? And then with traditional French toast, I normally do like the milk and the eggs and a dash of cinnamon. So I'm gonna put like a teaspoon of cinnamon in there as well. What are we doing? And then we're gonna just put this on the stove and I'm just gonna bring it up to a simmer. I'm not gonna have it hard boiled, but I'm just gonna simmer it for like sort of five to 10 minutes and let that honey sort of get all dissolved into the milk and get everything infused. So it can... And then after, this is all infused and cools down. We're gonna add a couple eggs, beat it up, dip our bread in it, fry up some French toast, add some wonderful cream and some supreme citrus, okay? So, you wanna make some French toast? Yeah. All right, quick and easy, awesome little breakfast today before we go out and enjoy our day. French toast, can you say, let's go French toast? Let's go French toast. All right. Let's go French toast. Okay, so as you can see, we have our milk and our honey and our cinnamon and all our citrus in here. And Ambrose is cheering us on in the back. And we're just slowly sort of infusing this. The honey's all sort of incorporated now, so I'm just gonna let this sit here simmering for about five minutes. And then we'll let it cool down and we'll be ready to go. What? Oh, we're gonna go have a smoothie while they, while we wait for this. Okay, is that a good smoothie? Okay, so we we mentioned that we were gonna use some supreme citrus on this as little garnish and little pops of flavor. So I'm gonna show you how to supreme any citrus right now. Uh, I have lots of lemons, so I'm gonna use a lemon, okay? But I'll get right in here. So if I'm gonna supreme it, it just means I'm gonna segment out. Um, all the little individual pieces of flesh. So I'm just gonna cut it, right? Just get a nice sharp little paring knife. Get yourself some flat edges, okay? Cut off either end. Okay, so now you have a lemon that looks like this. And you're just gonna just cut off the peel. So just go top to bottom, curve it around, right? So curve the whole thing, clean up as much of it as you can, just working your way around the piece of fruit. Okay, just make sure to get all the the white rind off, okay? Just work your way around the whole piece of citrus, okay? Just take your time, get all that, get all that rind off. More smoothie? How much smoothie can you drink? Okay? Okay, so just clean up the bottom, get it all looking good. Take your time, the more you do it, the better you get better. What? There's no more smoothie left, you drank it all. Okay, so now. No more sorry, more. Oh no, more sorry. Okay, I'll get you some in a second, okay? You just wait, let Daddy finish this, and I'll get you some more smoothie. 
Okay, so now we have our lemon that looks like this, okay? And we're just gonna take this and you can see all the white, oh, I guess you can't see that. Whoop, there we go. You can see all this sort of white rind that divides the segments of it. And we're just gonna cut those segments out. So I'm just gonna take my knife and cut along one side on an angle, another side on an angle, okay? And then you're just popping out the segment of the fruit, okay? So just keep doing that all the way around on an angle, pop it out, okay? And you have nice supreme pieces of citrus, okay? There's no rind attached, it's just the flesh. And then when you're done, going around, you'll see there's like, this is the area where we cut wow, out. See that, where we cut out in between those. That's all the flesh cut out. So that's how you supreme any, and you can do lemons, limes, oranges, and it's a nice way to sort of make things look pretty and get just the flesh of the citrus out and none of the rind or the peel. So yeah, there you go. All right, let's make some French toast. And more smoothie. Is that good? Amber is having an applesauce appetizer before he gets into his uh, honey citrus French toast. So we have a bowl here, um, empty bowl. We have our uh, sort of warm and infused cream. I'm going to dump it all in here and just sort of leave all the citrus peels behind. Except for that one that got in there somewhere, the lemon, and oh, that's so good. Um, that is so good, honey and cinnamon and citrus. That's so good. I could literally drink that, just warm, just sip on that on a nice cool morning. I'll be lovely. Okay, so to this, we're gonna add these. What are these? Eggs. So two eggs is going into here. Uh, and uh, yeah, then we'll be ready to dip dip our bread and make some French toast. So, can you crack an egg for Daddy, Ambrose? Can you crack an egg? Look, crack! Oh, come on, crack an egg for Daddy. No? You used to love cracking eggs. What happened, man? What happened? No eggs. No eggs? Okay. No. We'll get you back there someday. Okay. So two eggs go in here. Okay. Yeah. Can you beat this up for daddy? Can you go like this? Can you whip that up? You, you're busy with your applesauce. Okay, so we're gonna whisk this up. Yeah. And then we're gonna head to the stove and make some French toast. Hello! Hello! Okay. So we took our homemade bread and we cut it into fairly thick slices and I cut them into sort of triangles. What do you want? What do you want? Green your green tractor. So it can hang out over here? Okay, we'll get your green tractor. You ready? Let's get it. In this pan, I have some butter and some olive oil, a little combination, but mostly butter, like two thirds butter. Um, and I'm just gonna dip this, give this bread a good soaking, and slap it in the pan. It's gonna sizzle up nice. And we're gonna go for like a minute and a half to two minutes on both sides. And then we'll be ready to plate this beautiful French toast cup. As long as someone doesn't steal and eat any pieces of bread, we'll be fine. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is this gonna help up? That helps, doesn't it? Right? So I'm just gonna put four pieces in here at a time just to not to overcrowd the pan. And we're gonna let these cook up for about another minute or so, a minute and a half. All right, beautiful. How is that bread, good? Yeah. Should we flip our French toast? Yeah. All right, let's check out, look at applesauce all over yourself. Okay, let's check out our French toast. So it's been in here for about a minute and a half. The goal is to have it nice and golden brown and delicious on both sides. So as we flip it over, you can see the butter in there is helping it get all golden brown and delicious. Oh, so we're gonna get both sides, both sides looking like this. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to be ready to rock and roll and plate it up a little bit. So, are you ready to eat this French toast? Yeah? All right. Let's do it. Hi, 
morning, buddy. Hello, buddy. Are you ready to make some French toast, please? Yeah, I'm cold. Okay, I'll take that as a yes. So our French toast cooked for like, probably close to two minutes on each side, just sort of a lower heat. So we have uh, four wonderful pieces here. So let's build a plate of French toast to eat. Eat, eat, eat. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, so we have some uh, whipped cream here we made. Um, just with some whipping cream, some icing sugar, a little bit of vanilla, okay? So we're just going to put a nice dollop of that on our plate, okay? We're going to take some beautiful pieces of French toast here, sort of lay those on there, okay? Then we are going to take some of our honey, some of this wonderful Sunny Cove honey, okay? And I'm just going to sort of Fill my spoon with this and let it sort of just drizzle all over the plate. Beautiful. Okay. Then after that, we have our supreme citrus. So just a few lemons and limes and oranges sort of all over this plate as well. And that's, uh, that's kind of it. Nice and simple, citrusy, fresh, beautiful. It's, uh, it's just a nice, lovely... Lovely plate of French toast. Super simple, but super tasty. Okay? Do you want me to do a plate up for Ambrose? Uh, Look, whipped cream. You don't like whipped cream, do you? Do you yeah. like whipped cream? Okay, whipped cream, a nice piece of French toast. Okay? Some honey. Some honey for you there. Woo! Just a little honey for my main man. Okay? No, Some citrus, and we almost forgot. Oh my goodness, buddy. We almost forgot. We're gonna add some wonderful little mint leaves on here just to give it that extra little fresh flavor. Oh, uh, yeah, buddy. That is gonna be tasty stuff. All right, yeah. now we can eat. Okay, let's eat yeah, the French honey. toast. Yeah, honey. Honey, are you ready to eat? Hey. Honey. Okay, let's eat. All right, is the French toast good? Yeah. It's time to eat this. This looks wonderful. I'm going to get some bread, some whipped cream, some of that lime, some mint. This is so good. The French toast is crunchy on the outside because we cooked in that butter and oil and it's like custardy and beautiful on the inside. It's got that whipped cream, the citrus, the honey. This is fantastic. And apparently, my whipped cream is better than his. What are you doing? That's daddy's. Whatever, I'm gonna eat yours, I'm done with this, so whatever's left on your plate is turning into mine. This is really, really, really good. No maple syrup needed for French toast, honey, Cream, citrus, mint, beautiful, isn't it? Is it good? There's yours right there, yeah. Take a big bite. Ow. Now say bye bye. Ow. That was my plate again. Bye bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.